guys, it has been a while since I've posted my last video because, well, Christmas. And also, this particular pattern was quite difficult for me to come up with because, as you know, I'm a beginner. And um, just kind of counting and, and trying to, to make something that fits a baby is quite tricky. But here they are, my crochet trousers. They are very easy to make, even though it took forever to come up with them. Um, and what I used um, is Kink Coal Comfort Double Knitting um, in this mixed beautiful colour and in this colour. Now I'm going to show you actually, so I used two of those because I did my legs separately at pretty much the same time. Um, so I used 200 gram bowls and I'll show you how much I had left. So this is the leftover. So actually, um, it's very, very, very good because I can still probably make um, a cardigan out of this once I've come up with a pattern for one. Anyway, um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and please forgive me for all the messiness of the pattern because um, it did confuse me. I confused myself a few times as well. Um, but I still hope you enjoy making it and I'll see you in a second. I'm going to start this project by making the band. So first of all, I'm going to chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And to start with, I'm going to skip the first stitch and do a double crochet into the second stitch from the hook which in American English is single crochet so one in the second and one in the following one and one double crochet in all the stitches which should give us eight altogether Seven and eight. There we go. I'm going to turn my work around. Chain one. And then put my hook not in the second but the first stitch from the hook this time. So the first one and do a double crochet in that one. So and then one double crochet in each stitch. So again, there should be eight. Okay, and then the last one. And I'm going to turn my work around again. And chain one. And again, go in the first stitch. And do one double crochet in each stitch. We're going to do this and when I get to the end of the row I'm going to do something slightly different. If you've seen my previous videos you know what to expect. So when I get to seven, that's my seventh stitch, instead of going into this stitch which is, which is the eighth stitch, I'm going to go into my turning stitch just here because that helps me keep my edges straight. So that's what I'm doing. You don't have to do that. You can just go normally into your eighth stitch and if that works for you, that's great. And then turn around, chain one, and again do eight double crochets, one in each stitch. And again, I'm getting to stitch 7, I'm going to skip stitch 8 and put my, so this is stitch 8 here, that one there, if you look, that's my 8th stitch. But I'm not going to go in there, I'm going to go into my turning stitch on the side, if I can manage. Um, the 
this one's quite tight. But we're almost there. Let's try again. Uh, and there. Okay. And then turn around, chain one. And do exactly the same thing again. So I'm just going to carry on until the end, well, until my band is wide enough and here are the numbers of, of, of rows that I've done. And I'll see you in a second. So now I've got my band. I'm just going to crochet them in together. So it's like, well, I'm going to put them together and using double crochet, which is a British English term, I'm going to put them together. So I'll go through first on the front side and the first stitch on the back side just pull the yarn over and do a double crochet. I know that very often people use a slip stitch but this is what I chose to do because I think it for me it looks a bit neater. So again going to stitch here and the same stitch on the back and do a double crochet in every stitch. It's quite easy if they are aligned because the hook just goes through both of them easily. Okay, and I'm also going to do one just to the side because then when I turn it, it looks nice and straight. So now I'm just going to fasten off and start on my trousers. Okay, so now I have my band, I can start with the leg. So I'm going to use the second type of yarn and I'm going to put my hook in the first stitch from the stitch. So the stitch that I did before is here and this is the first stitch after. I'm going to hold the yarn at the back and then chain two. So I'm going to work with uh, British triple crochets which are American double crochets. So yarn over, put the hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull through two and then pull through two again. And then do one triple in the next stitch. So to make it slower, yarn over put the hook in, pull the yarn over, you have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through first two, and then yarn over, pull through the other two. And that's treble crochet. And I'm going to do another treble in the same stitch. And then I'm going to do one treble in the next stitch. And I'm going to do two trebles into the following stitch. Now I'm going to do one treble into the next stitch and two trebles into the following stitch. One treble into the next stitch and two trebles into the following stitch. Now you'll see that this is not very obvious, but you can you can kind of see where to put where to put the um the yarn the hook. So they are they look slightly different because they're on the other side, but I think it's fairly easy to work out 
where to put the hook. So I'm just going to carry on like this. So I've got two in this one, so one in the next one, and then two in the following one. So I'll do this until I've reached the end of the row, and I'll see you here in a second. So I'm almost at the end of the row now, and all I have to do is just one triple crochet in the last stitch, but that's on the very stitch in the in on the inside, so it might be quite tricky, but I just need to make sure there we go that I pull it through, and that's my last triple crochet, and now I'm going to connect the two sides. So this is our first triple, so three chains, one, two, three. Now I'm going to put the hook in a third chain from the bottom, so one, two, three, and just do a slip stitch there. There we go, and now I'm just going to chain two like I did previously, and do one triple crochet in the first stitch from the hook, and then do one triple in every single stitch around. Right, so I have finished this row, now I'm going to connect like I did previously in the third stitch from the bottom and then I'm going to chain two. Now in this row I'm going to uh, decrease slightly, so I'm going to do the one triple crochet in the first stitch and then one triple crochet in the next four stitches, so one, two, Oops, try again, two, three, and four, and then I'm going to do one decrease. So to do that, I'm going to wrap the yarn over and then put the hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and I have three. Um, loops like I always do when I do a treble and then I'm going to pull the yarn through the first two so instead of finishing the uh, stitch I'm going to yarn over again and put the hook in the following stitch yarn over again pull through the first two and when I have three on the hook I yarn over and pull through all of them and then I'm going to do five treble crochets one in each stitch one two, three, four, and five, and then I'm going to do another decrease, so yarn over, put the hook in the first stitch, yarn over, pull through first two, yarn over again, put the hook in the second stitch, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two, two, not three. And I want to have three, I yarn over and pull through all three. And now I'm going to do five triple crochets, one in each stitch. One, two, three, four and five and another decrease after that and that's going to be my that's going to be my pattern until the end of this round so now five triple crochets one in each stitch followed by a decrease and so on and i'll see you here at the end of this row so i'm right at the end of the row I've just got one more decrease to do. There we go. And now, as usual, I'm going to connect with a slip stitch. And as you can see, this is quite wide. So what we're going to do, we're going to do another decrease in the same way again. So chain two. And starting in the very first stitch, um, do five 
treble crochets one in each stitch followed by a decrease until we and five and then one decrease and again five stitches five treble crochets one in each stitch followed by a decrease And again, I'm going to do this until the end of the round, and I'll see you here in a minute. Again, I'm at the end of my row, and I'm going to connect with a slip stitch. And from now on, I'm going to do a few rows just with one triple crochet in each stitch. So no increase, no decrease, just one, starting from the very beginning and go around with one triple crochet in in each stitch um, so have a have a look down just on the screen for reference of how many rows i'm doing and i'll see you here in a second okay so now I'm going to start increasing a little bit and um, so as usual I'm going to start with chain 2 and then I'm going to do uh, 9 treble crochets and one in each stitch uh, starting from the very first stitch here so 1 2 to sort out my yarn quickly three four five six seven eight and nine and now i'm going to do one increase so increase again is yarn over one triple crochet in this stitch and then one, another triple crochet in the same stitch so that's one increase and now i'm going to do nine triple crochets one in each stitch again so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And nine and now I'm going to do another increase so two trebles in the same stitch and I'm going to do another sequence like that here and another after that because we have 40 stitches all together um, we do we, we repeat this sequence four times and the last two trebles in the last stitch so one and two in the same one and that's the end of the row so out of 40 out of 40 stitches we now have 44 because we increased four stitches so i'm going to slip stitch into here and now i'm just going to do 
two rounds with just one triple crochet in each stitch starting from the very first stitch as usual. So we should have 44 stitches, 44 here and 44 in the next round. And I'll see you here in a second once I've finished the two rounds. Right, I've done my two rows and now I'm back and I'm just going to connect with a slip stitch and I'm going to go back to increasing again. So this time I'm going to do 10 triple crochets, one in each stitch, followed by an increase and I'm going to repeat that four times. So one, two, three. And now I'm going to do two triple crochets in one stitch. So one and two in the same stitch. So two triple crochets in this stitch. And again, I'm going to do 10 triple crochets, one in each stitch. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now two triple crochets in the next stitch. So one and two. Okay, and I'm going to do two more sequences like that. So ten triple crochets, one in each stitch, followed by a, an increase, and then another ten followed by an increase. And I'll see you here in a second. So now I've finished, I'm going to connect with a slip stitch. I should now have 48 stitches. And before I increase again, I'm going to do two rounds with one triple crochet in each stitch. So two rounds of 48 stitches starting in the very first stitch as usual. So one, Two, and so on and so forth and I'll see you here uh, once I've done two rounds. Now that I've finished my two rows I'm going to uh, connect with a slip stitch again and do another increase and that's going to be the last one for the leg. So I'm going to chain two as usual, do 11 triple crochets one in each stitch followed by an increase. So one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And now I'm going to do my increase, so two triple crochets in one stitch. 
And now I'm going to do the same sequence three more times. So 11 trebles, one in each stitch followed by an increase, 11 followed by an increase, and 11 followed by an increase. And I'll see you here in a second. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. And from now on, I'm going to do a few more rounds um, with just the 52 stitches that I've ended up here now. So with the three increases from 40, we now have 52 stitches. And I'm now going to start on my next round and it's going to be one triple crochet in each stitch. And that's what the pattern is going to be for the next few rounds. Please have a look down to see how many rounds I end up doing. Um, so if you'd like, you can just pause the video and I'll meet you here in a second. So here we are. This is my one of my legs. I'm going to fasten off now. So do the usual, just chain one more. I'm going to leave a little tail, tighten. And now I'm going to do the other leg, except with the other one I am not going to fasten off. I'm going to keep the yarn on so that we can carry on making the bottom. Okay then. So here are my two legs. And I have one with the yarn and one without. So I'm going to put them together. Um, you can see that there is a little stitch here where we were connecting right here and right here. So this is where I'm going to connect the two sides. And the first thing I'm going to do is three double crochets that will go through both um, legs. So starting from here and then going through this stitch here, I'm going to do one double crochet and then I'm going to do the second double crochet and then I'm going to do the third double crochet. Okay, so I have a little connection here. There we go. And now I'm just going to carry on going this way. So I'm going to do two chains and work in treble crochets again. So yarn over and put the yarn in. And then one treble crochet in each stitch to go around the first leg. There we go. It's going to take a little while because it is quite a few stitches. But I am going to keep going on screen because I think otherwise it might just get a little bit too confusing. So I'm just going to do this this round on screen so bear with me oops okay that's okay that's how we're doing so I'm going to do just one treble crochet in each stitch in the front of the leg.
Okay, and now I need to count my stitches first before I carry on. So I'm going to do one, two, three. That's what I'm going to connect. And I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There we go. So that's twenty. So I need to do um, one more stitch. Okay, and now I'm going to do four triple crochets, one in each stitch, one, two, three, four, followed by an increase, so two triples in one, and then again four, one, two, three, and four, followed by an increase. And another four. Followed by an increase. Okay, and now I'm going to do five. One, two, three. Four and five. Okay, so now we've got the three that we need to connect. So I'm going to take this out for a second and use this leftover tail to connect these stitches. I'm going to go into the previous one. Got a bit confused there for a second. Let's go to the previous one. Pull the yarn. And now I'm going to go to the following ones. So one. Two. We're doing the double crochets like we did in the previous on the previous side, and three. And once we've done that, we're going to fasten off. There we go. And we're just going to carry on with triple crochets. So now I'm going to go to the other side and do, oops, triple crochet. And now do five. So two, one, two, three, four. And five, and now two trebles in one, so we're doing an increase, and now we're doing one, two, three. 
V and pull and then another increase and then another four and the last increase because so we have three increase uh, stitches in, on both on each side okay and then the rest of stitches are going to be one triple crochet in each stitch so one two oops that didn't work Okay, so just need to take it to the end. So where we have the increase, that's going to be our back, and the side without the increase is going to be our front. It's just to give a little more space for the nappy. Uh, and hopefully make it more comfortable for the little one. Just a few more stitches and again we're just doing one triple crochet in each stitch at this point. Almost there, just a few more. Two more stitches. And now as usual, we do a slip stitch to connect. So I'll finish my first video here so that you have time to start your project and I will have time to edit the rest of the clips. So um, I'll see you shortly with the next part and I hope you enjoyed it um, so far and thank you for watching. Bye bye!